Hello and welcome back to the main account, and we're continuing to go through the other loyalty mechs, this time the Marauder 2C-2. This guy is just like a standard Marauder, however, it has the added bonus of the ability to take jump jets, which is quite nice. So what we have equipped on this is mass pulse lasers. We have a large pulse laser in each arm, along with two additional medium pulse in the left arm, one in the right arm, and two medium pulse in the center. So five medium pulse, two large pulse. It works. It's it's as functional. We have a lot of heat sinks, so that means we can cool off really quickly, even with all of this heavy energy weaponry. And then four jump jets in the legs to give us some pretty some pretty damn good mobility actually this thing already with an xl350 is getting us up to 66.7 which is perfectly fine for an assault mech combine that with some jump jets maps such as canyon network become this thing's playground where it can really maneuver around and hit some people quite hard uh, other marauders if i uh, take that off of favorites. Let's go assault clan. My other marauders maybe have similar designs to this. We got my marauder 2C uh, special from getting the collector's pack of the 2Cs. It's a lot more um, torso mounted weapons because you've got the energy weapons in the side torsos and such and only one thing in each arm. This is definitely more arm based stuff. We're gonna have to remember that. The majority of our stuff is on the arms, so that's what we gotta uh, focus on when we're aiming. And then the additional pulses in the center torso are just beneficial if they're there. And uh, I believe I could I just fit in the um, light active probe because it fit. Alternatively, you could if you wanted to shave a bit of a little bit off the head, a little bit off more of the legs and get another half ton and turn it into a targeting computer, which uh, is nice, but eh, whatever. I don't really care. This is good enough. But let us head into the battlefield and see what the jumpy, pulsy Marauder 2CE, that doesn't work, uh, does. And for our first match with the Marauder 2C, yes, you're in the video. Don't suck. That is an appropriate thing to do. We are on Grimplex's domination, moving towards the center. This is a good map for us. It's a mid-range map. On this one, you need around 300 to 600, and that is exactly what we have with our weapons. It is cold, so we can keep on shooting. And we're heading towards the center. What are you? Ugh, the fleet. Ugh, please. Screw them. I hate little mechs. Everything under, I'd say, 30 tons isn't really a mech. It's a uh, power armor that is overgrown. So it's kind of like everything that is smaller than like a chihuahua or whatever isn't really a dog. It's a... Oh, it's not a dog. Oh, okay. UAV, UAV. Oh, was that right side? I don't know where that was coming from, but we're moving together as a team. Let's move forward. That was a very weird uh, sort of death rush from that flea. Let's get up into the center here. Look across. We're going to continue to move. We're kind of doing some rotation-y things with our enemy. Don't see anything. We're just going to continue on because that is what rotations do. Uh, we got the UAV in the back, which is marking up some enemies for us, but we should be okay. We'll come around the corner here. Uh, took a little bit of a the arty there, but not too bad. Let's tuck up and see what we can do. Now, an interesting sort of decision you can make with these. Uh, sets of lasers is where do you put them in terms of your weapon groups? Do you have the 
arm-based lasers all together in one weapon group? Or do you separate out the different ranges of, of lasers into different weapon groups? Like, one is the large pulse, one is the medium pulse, like that. It is interesting how you can do that. Sunspider legs damage? I think only my large pulse is getting to that guy, but ooh, we do have King Crab coming up on us. But we do have jumps, so we can use them. Do a little bit of a jump burst there. Not really the most effective thing, but it is better than nothing, and we'll put a nice burn into him as we drop back. If he wants to push forward, you're pushing forward into my allies. We take off his side torso, getting rid of some of his heavy machine guns on that thing, as well as the MRM-40. They've got enemies coming around our backfield. Enemies behind us, G7. We're gonna use our jumps to maneuver into the air. Death from above, sort of feeling. I love that. <laughs> it's not that it was truly required, but it was fun while it lasted. So there should be enemies coming over the top. I kind of want to engage them. My allies are pushing into the side there. I don't want these enemies to come out of here completely uncontested. Behind us, behind us! There goes my arms. We are 7 2, so we're doing fine. Back's taking a little bit of damage. Got an enemy coming around. That's a pretty baby! Oh my god, pretty baby. It's like seeing a unicorn. It's amazing. But we're doing okay. Arctic Wolf is going to get hit above our team. We've got a UAV ahead of, um, above us, although there's not really much we can do about that. Ooh, Hellbringer goes down. Last is the Sun Spider, and that's everything that's remaining. Maneuver around, get up here. Oh, get out of my way, Cicada. I didn't want to shoot you. And hopefully I can get a, an assist at least on this guy. If not, oh, steal that kill right at the end. As we manage to beat our enemies for the first attack. Very good. Let's see what the post-game stats are like. We got 364,000 sea bills. That tournament supporter is still going on. I'm not sure when that ends. Maybe the end of the year? Because the uh, the tournament's already ended. So, eh, whatever. I'm not going to complain. 426 damage done with 2 kills, 9 assists, and 3,400 experience earned. But let us head off to another match with our Marauder. And what is this? Is this the same map? Once again? What is this? Oh well. Oh god. My jumps. No, they my jumps were not enough. Come on. Come on. You can do it, mech. Yes. Uh no, come on. Come on. Tap the jumps. Tap it. You can do it. Okay, that was awkward. <laughs> I managed to make it, but that was an ugly ass jump up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh well. Oh, I see an enemy. Over there. If I had peeps, I would have taken a shot. But I don't. We've got an Atlas, a Kraken. Let's go towards uh, the center. I guess that's always a good tactic. We need to. Ah, hey! Hey! It wasn't nice. Didn't do any damage to me though. It just caused some cockpit shake. Must have been like a heavy goss that was like way out of range. Oh, there's an enemy there. Yep, yeah, there's some ridge line. There's a few enemies on the ridge line. Fox six. What the hell are the assaults doing? I know you guys are slow. Come on. Hey, I'm an assault. I'm on the front. Let's get some cover here. Looks like the LRMs are still out of range, which is good. We need to get some over, uh, some oversight on Theta here, as I was wanting. Damn it, they're gonna get Theta before we can uh, get them hit. Oh, it's a Fanny with dual heavy goss. Oh, owie! No, not nice. Holy shit! What, what is coming out of there? How much damage is that? 
What the hell? I'm down to 71 already. What the fuck was that? That was nice. That was not nice at all. Here come the missiles. I'm gonna lose my leg. Try to maintain that. Right before I lost my leg, I tried to jump up in the air to maintain some of my mobility. But nope. Just getting absolutely dumpstered by LRMs. My god. I mean, maybe it was my fault for pushing forward too much there, but ugh, that was disgusting. Thankfully, we still have half our firepower, we still have half our mech, we are still functioning, and we still have that side torso, so we still have that um, cooling efficiency. Oh, it's just a regular Goss Thanny. So it's like a stealth armor regular Goss Thanny. Okay, okay, that's fine. Here they come. I'm just going to hold the position here. I UAV above us. I can shoot it right now when there's a Warhammer to shoot. Alright, let's take it out. Got the UAV. There's the bastard. There's the bastard. That's the guy that was killing me. That's a airstrike. Supernova Kilo is CT crit. Come on, let's do this. Let's get these bastards. I'm gonna have a decent game, even though I'm freaking legged. I'm shooting for your diaper, and I get ya! Gotta go for that CT, man. Oh, airstrikes, you bastards. Get away from me. Juliet, clean it up. We're eight nothing. Push him in. Oh, yes. Hey, they say they shouldn't be able to equip lerms, but look how much damage they did to me right off the start before I was able to even really do anything. Oh, come on, let me through that gap. Oh, come on, really? Damn it. Not nice. He's got that assist. The last one is an atlas with lerms. Lerm fives. What is this? <laughs> Especially because you're losing so much weight by having small launchers with Artemis because you're losing a ton per launcher, not just losing, you know, a ton for, like, having a Lerm 20. Ugh. <coughs> yeah, that should be it. We'll flip back Theta and uh, succeed. So, I really didn't take that much damage after that initial uh, LRM burst that put me down so low. But holy shit, as soon as we get it, no, it's not enough. We have to uh, uncap one more, because the, the timer has not ended. We have to uncap one more, the timer hasn't ended. Somebody else, run off. I am legged. Yeah, you can move your arms independent of your torso, right? Somebody must get it. All right, let's, let's, let's uh, slowly thump our way to Sigma. Man, we are slow and heavy group. Do, 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 do. Let's take a look at my mech. I wish I could do a 360 right now, but I can't. Oh, my mech is so beat up. I can still fly, though. Which, which, that is a technique. If you're running at full speed and you know you're about to get lagged and you have jump jets, if you get lagged in the air while jumping, you'll maintain your speed while you're you're jumping so you can get further before you have the uh, sort of <laughs> leg break slowdown animation stuff which is very useful so I was able to do it there to get myself a little bit further into cover before I had to drop my weight down 
I didn't not drop my weight, drop my speed down. But yeah, as soon as the uncap Sigma it should be fine. Yeah, kind of abuse the yeah, There we go. Tis flashing. We have no lights. Oh, we had a light, but he's dead. It's our only death. Was a piranha, which it makes me happy because piranhas need to die. They all need to die. So even though we're on the winning team, our piranha died, which makes me even happier. Sigma getting uncapped will end to an uncapped Sigma or recap Sigma. Uncapped in Sigma. That's all we needed. And good game to our opponents. We got 750 points, which means this is going to be an amazing payout because Conquest is the best game mode for making sea bills on. As each one of those points is giving us 75 sea bills, which gives us an additional 56,250. 435,000 sea bills because that additional 56,000 is boosted by all of our boosts, which makes it oh, so much money. Two kills, eight assists, 375 damage done, 1,800 experience earned, and a pretty good sweep there. But off to one last match with this mech. And for our last match, we've got Caustic Valley with Assault. We're gonna do the standard thing which is push around the right side and NASCAR because uh, that is what's done on maps such as this because we have we know exactly where the enemies are and we can go straight to them. Ice Fair coming in the left side Rainbow Crow with that ECM is he putting up the UAV? is he pushing forward at all or is he gonna run? Looks like some sort of like backstabby type heavy laser design, which is pretty fun to run, actually. Hmm, looks like he just took a little bit of damage and then got out. Acquired. We'll hit the Shadowhawk for a tiny bit. Serm 2s, AC 2s, everything with 2s in it. Interesting. We have the UAV on the left flank that'll give us information on the enemy's movements for the next little bit, so let's casually push right. So we'll be able to see if their flankers are back into position over there. Use a little bit of a jump burn? Nope, nothing there. Enemy UAV in front. It's down. Who saved our archer here from a whole bunch of LRMs. That was a good thing. Let's move up. Gotta be aggressive. Watching for those UAVs. If we get caught out by them, we'd be into some tough shit. Linebacker moving across the center. You want to check for UAVs? Nothing there. Yep, nope, there's one. Got it. Can't let those UAVs stick around. Number wrong. Okay, they're pushing hard across the center in Echo 4, straight into Echo 5. Nova C. Let's burn its side. Spread the damage on the return. Drop back. Cool off. We got a guy right behind us. Yeah, we got guys everywhere. They've got a few guys behind us. We need to maneuver around. We can't stick around here. We need to move. We've just got a few seconds here where we're dead. Excellent. We managed to maneuver into a position where we're not so dead. Getting this rock between us and them was a very important thing. With this, we can even get ahead on the rotation if we wanted to. That UAV needs to go down, though, as it's going to give away our, our movement across here. Ah, uh, heat sink destroyed. Bastard crit system. There's that hunchy. UAV is down. Excellent. Moving up. And now we are the turners. That was a pretty poor burn, but best I could do while flying through the air. These guys are going to come right over this ridge line in a second. 
nothing I can do about that. Let's just move up here and try to peek over the ridge. Maybe catch somebody out that's not expecting it. Four alarm 20s on the water. What is that, a scorch? You bastard, you're using that thing the wrong way. Night jeer. Let's take that thing out. Side torso is about to fall off. Yes, that thing is dying horribly. That's all we could ever ask for. <laughs> Excellent. Now we can just pump things into that supernova at range. Back into cover while we cool off. Ooh, Nightshare's super low. We've cooled off. We can pop back up. Get a good burn into the Hunchy. He's LB2 design. That guy's getting eaten, and then I'm the next one on the left side, which means it's time to move or else they'll eat me. Using that mobility, man. The Hunchback 2C is both side torsos open. He's stuck back in Delta 3 area. Again, they're coming around our backsides. This is... This is... This has been a rotation and a half. This is crazy. I want to take care of that hunchy so bad. <laughs> this is such a stupid match. We're just rotating like crazy. Let's go kill that hunchy. He needs to die. Where did he go? Is he still over here? I wonder. Looks like the spider got shot at by him. Yeah, he's right there. There goes one side. Spider, clean up that hunchy. Legs on that flea. Yes. Done. Excellent. Flea's down. No, I overheated. I'm dead. That was not what I wanted. I'm going to sacrifice my left torso. I can still probably get out of here. Left leg dying is very bad for me. But I should be able to get a few more hits before I go down. No, oh, he, he was aiming quite well. He was aiming for my side torso there. That match was stupid. That was just like a freaking blender of mechs. And so close, too. Wait, is that guy... If that hunchback survives this match, I'm going to be sad. Because I specifically was like, hey dude, you can go take him. Yeah, go ahead. Ooh, Fafnir's with the heavy goss. No, you're dead. All we got is our spider. Ooh, and the guy's got streaks. Not good for him. There goes his leg. Yeah, it's over. We've lost. But, ah, uh, whatever. GG to our opponents. We fought them down pretty hard. Did a fair amount of damage to them. Last volley of streaks coming in. Oh, he probably lost his lock there. And he goes down. But that was stupid how much rotation that was. That was just stupid. But we made 300... Uh, 403,000 C bills, no kills, but seven assists and three most damage dealt with 642 damage done, 2,300 experience. Did that guy survive? Do, 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 do. Uh, no, good, good, he died. <laughs> I'm just like, if that hunchback got away, I would have been annoyed. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.